Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to another video. If this video found you, if you're watching this, trust that this is a divine appointment. This is a video of divine timing. This is especially for you. This is a channeled message for chosen ones, for the 144,000, for those who have an anointing and a calling by God, specifically at this time and place, as we shift from 3D to 5D consciousness. This is to remind you who you are. You are a chosen one. You are appointed by God. You have an anointing, a special calling on your life. This is for you because you're watching this at this time because many people mistake your kindness for weakness. They have no idea who you are. They'll never understand you. They're not supposed to, and they don't really care. They're not even aware of what's happening. This is for you because people mistake your kindness for weakness. They think that because you're so kind and understanding, because you treat everybody with respect and you are authentic and loving in the way that you move, the way that you speak, the way that you think and act, that you're weak. But this is again to remind you of who you are because maybe at this time you've begun to let other people's negative energies and projections begin to affect your aura and your energetic body, your mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being in a negative way. So here I am as a messenger reminding you of who you are and reminding you of what's happening and why you're here. So this is the message. Don't forget who you are, chosen one. You are not weak at all in any way, shape, or form. Quite the opposite, actually. Don't forget who you are. You've been through more than most that you will ever meet in your life. People from your past, people in your present, and people in the future, you've been more through more than any of them will ever have been through or understand. And this is because it is a karmic choosing. This is for a specific reason. You're a chosen one that has come here to help ascend the consciousness of the planet, of the universe from 3D to 5D at this very specific crucial point in time. You've healed from all of that stuff in your past, these painful, gut-wrenching, suffering, trauma, abuse, mistreatment, neglect, etc. You've been beaten, you've been battered, you've been bruised, you've been bloodied, you've been mistreated your whole life, and you've overcome it all. Again, you've been through more than most, and it's for a reason. Now, you're kind. You're kind to all, and you move with love because you understand. You know that you know what true pain and suffering is and you're kind because you've been through all this. You're so respectful, not because you're fawning and you're trying to be liked by others like you used to when you were unhealed. You're kind because you don't want others to feel how you did when you were being mistreated and abused. This is a catch 22. You're so much lighter now. Your vibration, your energy is vibrating at such a high level now and it's higher than it's ever been and it continues to go high. The catch 22 is because of this, you're attracting more negative energy and other people more than ever. You're supposed to. This is the journey of a light worker. This is the job of a light warrior. This is what you signed up for. This is what you were chosen for. This is what you also agreed to and chose yourself on a soul level. The reason you're attracting this attention, more negative energy than ever, and you're more aware of it, is because you're vibrating at a higher level, so you're incredibly sensitive and aware to everything and everyone around you, both on the physical and especially on the non-physical realms. Your light shines on their darkness, and what's happening is their darkness is projected onto you. So you're vibrating, you're super sensitive, you're vibrating higher than ever, and you're super sensitive, this light, this aura that you carry is projecting a light, a very powerful light onto other people's darkness and it's being projected onto you. You may, you're forced or you choose rather to always take the high road every single time because now that you're wide awake, you're conscious, you also understand karma that what is retaliation gonna do? It's only gonna create more negative effects in your life because you're vibrating at a high level, they project this negative energy onto you. If you react or respond in a negative way, 
there's a couple things. One, it's instant karma for you because your energy is so light and so high, it'll just be shown back instantly as a mirror in your physical world. You know that, so you're not going to respond with any negative energy. And again, because you've healed all that trauma, you don't want to treat other people like that because you know how it feels to be mistreated, abused, neglected, etc. So you just don't move like that. That's not you anyways. And you wouldn't want to because being mean back all in any ways because you understand that's part of their unhealed trauma. And again, you just don't operate like that anyways. This is challenging. This is challenging. It's not easy. Being chosen, being a light worker, being uh, an ascended, having an anointing on your life is not for the faint of heart, but you knew that before you decided to reincarnate in this time, in this reality, at this very crucial pivot in the history of all that is. If your energy, the negative energy builds up, we can start to blame ourselves and let the negative projections of other people negatively affect us. So this video is a reminder to clear your energetic field, to ground into your practices, to go out into nature, to meditate, to write, to work with crystal energy, to be in solitude, whatever you feel called to do, eat certain foods. This is a reminder for you to clear your energy and listen to your intuition. This is to remind you also of what's happening when people are mistreating you or why they're throwing all this negative energetic crap at you when you didn't even do anything. Again, this is because you're vibrating at a higher level than you ever have been and you're lighting up their darkness. You're healing them without them even knowing it. They don't know what's going on. They just know that they don't like your energy because I always think of this example. I didn't write this down, but think about it like this. What happens to a vampire when they see the light? Ah, they don't want to see that burned by the sun. Your light is shining on their darkness. They don't like it. So what do they do? They want it to go away. How do they try to make it go away? They try to make you go away because you are the trigger but you're not going away. Stand in your power. This is what you signed up for. You're a light worker. You're a light warrior. This is what it is. This is what the job is. It's not for the freaking faint of heart, but we knew that. This ain't easy. So this is to remind you of what's happening when people are throwing their energetic crap at you. So to clear your energy, understand what's going on, recognize it, and stand strong in your power. Remember who you are. You are a divine soul with the power of God, the ascended masters, angels, all the archangels and the spirit guides and all of your ancestors right at your back. And you know that they're all there. You have a more powerful spirit team than anybody that you know. And it's for this reason, because you have a very powerful, very divine, very specific calling. You're a chosen one, a light worker, a star seed. They can't and never will understand or know what you've been through or what even is happening and why they don't like you for no reason. They're not even aware of how they're mistreating you. Again, this is unconscious behavior. You're bringing up their shadows. This is what we do. You're blessed and protected beyond belief. You have the power of the universe at your side, at your beck and call, and you're spiritually and divinely protected more than you can ever imagine. You have an anointing, a calling, a divine life purpose, and specific soul mission on this planet at this very crucial, very important time in humanity. Stand in your power. You're not better than anyone, but you are more powerful and intuitive and infinitely more intelligent than most that you will ever meet or have ever known or will ever meet. Remain humble because it's not yours. You're not better than anyone else. This is simply the divine intelligence running through you. It's a gift to be used for the service of others. Your power is not to be abused. You know what happens when you abuse your power. You've done that not only in this lifetime in the past, but many, many lifetimes before. That's why we're here now. That's why we went through that in the thousands and thousands of lifetimes that we lived when we were in positions of power and we abused it because we know what it's like when we abuse our power. Now we, and we know what it's like to be abused by power. We've lived all the lives. We've done all the things. Now it's our time to share our wisdom and our divine intelligence with the conscious collective so that we can all ascend for those who have chosen to go into 5D consciousness. Remember and be who you are. So this is a channeled message that happens right now, pretty wild, kind of fun when it happens too, but I will leave you with a couple of quotes. When God has selected you, it doesn't matter who has rejected or neglected you, God's favor outweighs all. The second is a quote and more of an affirmation, a reminder for you. I am chosen. I was created and placed here on purpose for such a time as this. My placement in history is no accident, but divine appointment. You are a chosen one. You know who you are. Do not let 
others negatively affect your energy. If you're finding yourself being bogged down, even with this divine awareness and message and knowledge that you possess and you know you have, it just simply is a reminder to go and clear your energetic field and to ground because you're getting overloaded by the negative projections. And as light workers, we're susceptible to that because this is the job. This is what we came here to do. I love you so much and I will see you on the next video. Peace.